I got nothing. I'm sorry. I know, so, right? Yo, I used up all my good do, embarrassing stories like 40 minutes ago. I know, demand, right? You know, I mean. <laughs> Redirecting to the Facebook Live page. And oh my gosh, we are live. I got to tell you, this was a something else, and I'm <laughs> looking at our live. I would be impressed if we still have anyone watching. I you know, know right? the, everybody just super really just loves, you know, watching us or watching me sort of flail <laughs> about. So I'm certain they're sticking around as they should. All right. I, I suggest for the future, Troy's not allowed to be a, a, a voice in the ether, but we can get him a Muppet. <gasps> I mm. like it. So when technical uh, difficulties start, you can just wave your little felt arms right. around. <laughs> Which is weirdly what I'm doing right now. Um, <laughs> let me know, my friends, if you can hear us and see us. I am. Because all modern events are like a seance. They really are. They really They're are. Let's very say. situationally appropriate. I don't Anyone know what to. here with us? We call from the beyond. Who stole my golden arm? Did you ever hear, or did you ever tell that ghost story? <laughs> As a kid, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, or, uh, or, the hook, <laughs> or a hand person. Mm -hmm. Right, the hook-handed murderer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as we're, as we're waiting to kind of see, oh yeah, looks, 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 looks like we're doing it. Yay! Just Yay, like those. the good old days though. Hello everybody, boy, what a mess. Um, <laughs> How about that technology? Everybody is being, oh, we hear and see. Thank you, Jay Gray. Sean Vieira is here. Uh, Sean Duggan as well. Yeah, um, I, think, I think from here on out, we're just going to hire an eight-year-old to deal with the tech for us. Yeah, honestly, somebody who like, I mean, they're in there with the Minecrafts and they're doing all <laughs> the things. That's all about the Roblox these days, man. Right? Where have you been? Yeah, yeah, it really is. Um, wow. Okay. Well, yeah, first note, of all, what is a Roblox? <laughs> I don't really know. I think it's like a robot block. Is it like a Robert Burble? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I agree. Um, <laughs> Jay Gray, you are very funny. Jay Gray says, I see why Green Run and Publishing sticks to the printed materials, <laughs> right? <laughs> we like to, we like to go with our strengths. <laughs> right. Well, the good news is well, we there's did it, uh, sort of. Mutants and Masterminds Monday, we broadcast to everywhere and then screwed it up twice. <laughs> I did anyway, I will take full blame for that. Um, I think it's a computer issue. I've got, um, I think I was just giving it all she, let me get my accent. I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. Is that good? Is that a no. good, Ew. Scotty, no? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yes, that, well, Sean, no, we're not gonna restart the YouTube broadcast um, right now, primarily because I'm just afraid. I, I'm afraid to actually <laughs> even like- Right, uh, at this point, Troy's just not gonna touch anything. So. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm going to actually, next Mutants and Masterminds Monday is going to be entirely by paper. <laughs> Yeah, next Mutants and Masterminds Monday will be by mail. So Watch yeah, send, a, send a self-addressed <laughs> stamped envelope to Exactly. That would be hilarious. We ought to we ought to actually do some promo like uh, swag that's just like a, a printed uh, version of uh, of our Mutants and Masterminds Monday. But here we are. We're trying it again. Third time, yes. fourth time, fifth time's a charm. Um, thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Steve, for bearing with me as we figure this stuff. Um, uh, you think it just crashed now? I don't think your machine had enough upload bandwidth. Yeah, I don't think it had enough of any bandwidth, but thank you, Jay Gray. <laughs> and uh, um, well, I, I think what I'm gonna actually do is take a uh, sledgehammer to this computer and then start over with a brand new one. Um, we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, just Facebook for now. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we have an abbreviated version because I know Steve, you've got to run. Crystal, you Sadly. have many, many things going on, but- So um, many things. Let's roll into some spoopy Mutants and Masterminds huh? Monday talk. All right. We well, we're a, here and it is still Monday. So. We, have, we have a werewolf as a uh, guest host today. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a, uh, a Claremont Academy uh, like Wolvesbane 
character, you know, who's a wolf shapeshifter to- I was gonna know. say, we've got Miss Kitty. She's basically That's our true. wolf She's... thing, but she doesn't turn into a wolf. Right. You know, just we could we could wedge a you know like canthrope reference into into Bite Club while we're at it, right? Because we've already got uh, vampires and Frankenstein's, right? We just need werewolves, mummies, and uh, lake monsters. Basically. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, if I'd been thinking during the writing process, we would have just had all of that thrown in there. But <laughs> but I am not a clever woman. Well, space space is limited, as yeah. indeed is time. Uh, oh, what if the swim team were being turned into fishmen? No, wait, oh, I'll wait. that first. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, let's see, Sean Duggan says, and there was Wonder Dog? What? <laughs> From Earth? Mm -hmm. Earth Annie, I think. Is that a thing? What? News to me. We do have Wonder Dog on screen, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, from, I think from... Uh... Worlds of Freedom, our alternate universe book in second oh, edition. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Mystery Mutt. <laughs> <laughs> that... I'm sorry, I only remember the original Zoo Crew. <laughs> right. Sean oh, Beer seems to recall a Kim Possible episode uh, where the swim teams turned into gill monsters. I'm not, I've not watched Kim. Mm -hmm. Gotta have a feeling that that story idea has been used more than once. Probably. Yeah, absolutely. Well, so what kind, so when we're talking about sort of spoopy stuff, um, I, here's, a, here's the question that's on everybody's mind. Are we mm. going to get together to do a playthrough some point, I guess this week, Halloween's almost over, of, um, of some I spoopy know. I don't know if there's gonna be time, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> We have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Mm -hmm. Thursday, we're going to roll out Thursday with Owen, um, uh, contrary to popular headlines that you may have seen earlier in the day. Yeah. We'll, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, honestly, there's a, there's a I mean, ton going on, so I totally yeah. understand if, we're, if we can't. I don't know. That. We'll <laughs> dig into it, we'll, and if we're able to, it'll be a surprise. And if we're not, we have lower your to too. expect as much. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a surprise. Yeah. Can I be up here fifty uh, more? Oh, here Sean Dunham says, uh, "Hero High Exchange Students Tormented Tomatoes." <laughs> okay. Now so she wants to get there. right. <laughs> she sheds all over my desk. Sorry, the. Uh... <laughs> Sean's written a whole a whole thing here um, that's basically Tormented Tomatoes, Rex Hound, Furrydom's own pup wonder, was transported to Earth Prime, saving his mentor, none other than the famed caped canine himself, uh, Doc Okapi's Dimensional Scrambler. Oh, from Doc Okapi's Dimensional Scrambler. Okay, fortunately for our hero, he managed to make his way to this strange world's version of the Catamount Academy. This is a whole thing. Mild-mannered talking dog student by day, crime-fighting canine by night until he can figure out a way to get back. Wow, mm -hmm. Sean, yeah. that's impressive. Yeah, so I guess we, um, the recommendations are that we uh, expand Halloween through November. Oh, well, that's fine. There's nothing yeah. happening in November anyway. No, I don't think there are any worthwhile holidays until next October. Right. No, I, I mean, honestly, there is Thanksgiving, but on it, is that kind of a trash holiday? Oh, oh. The food is great. I mean, I love eating. Yeah. But it just don't seems let, like. Do not let my wife hear you say that. Ooh, right. Well, see, now I would imagine Thanksgiving with your wife is a delight, but Thanksgiving with sort of extended family that may or may not fall, you know, a, a diverse sort of a, a tapestry of political meanings and views and voices. <laughs> Well, that's not fair. <laughs> it's enough right. to put me off my food. Um, Jay says, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's 2020. Is there anything to be thankful for other than you lovely peeps? You know what? I got to tell you, I got a couple things. One, I mean, Green Ronin, of course. Yeah. Newton Semester Men's Monday. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm pretty stoked about my green thumb. I have planted so many plants. Yeah. Not super spoopy. Um, but yeah, no, I think that there's a lot to be thankful for, especially thankful that we're able to <laughs> continue broadcasting, mm -hmm. um, even though I ran into all the technical issues. Um, 
you know, I don't want to get into Thanksgiving stuff. We should sit down and, and have a Thanksgiving episode planning session where we can really bring some, uh, some thankfulness to the bear. Um, what are some other spoopy things that I, do we talk about talking about monsters? I think we've got mm-hmm. about oh, 10 or so minutes left. Let's get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well I, mean, I mean, go ahead, Crystal. I was going to say, I mean, obviously the, the number one spoopy monster news is that Bite Club has dropped, which is mm-hmm. a hero high Halloween appropriate adventure where you battle, battle LARP vampires. LARP, I think they call it. <laughs> or mm-hmm. LARPers turned vampires who are, you know, taking over the school. I love it. And it's live and ready to go now up at Ronan. Mm-hmm. We'll get that information to you. So um, how long will it take to play this? Uh, usually, I mean, all of our adventures are one to two sessions. Mm-hmm. So should take one to two sessions, probably four to six hours. Yeah. Nice. Depends on how much your team or how much your group likes to role play. Yeah, because that can stretch out a session. Yeah. For a while. And there's Thank so you, much for juicy the melodrama. Right. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it. what would a teenage a teen adventure be without, you know, a lot of melodrama? Right. I have a you know, I have a question for you, Crystal. And you mm-hmm. too, Steve, um, if you've got mm-hmm. thoughts on this. So how challenging is it when you get into the, the realm of sort of creating content that you know is going to be aimed or geared towards a certain seasonal thing, but you're doing it, let's say, like you're writing something Christmas in the summer, or you're writing Halloween and it's, you know, <laughs> how, how, how does that work for you? Like, do you have to kind of get into the fall, autumn sort of mood or uh, is, do you find that challenging at all? Is it just sort of, okay, I'm writing about, you know, writing about Halloween and it's, you know, uh, Easter. It's funny. I was just writing something for Valentine's Day this last Mm -hmm. week, (laughs) which has been challenging between, you know, the October season and the impending apocalypse. Right. (laughs) Right. (sighs) Yeah. So how do you get yourself into the Halloween mood when you're, or, or Thanksgiving, or, you know, uh, Thanksgiving or, or, you know, Valentine's. Valentine's. Yeah. 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 How do you, how do you do it? I mean, I don't know. I've been doing this long enough that I think I can just kind of force it. But back in the day, I used Mm -hmm. to have to like pick specific soundtracks to listen to while I worked to kind of help set the mood. I like it. That is, that's really smart. I kind of should do that for our Mutants and Masterminds Monday. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. What, um, what, so when you were writing this, when did you prepare this, uh, this sort of, did, was it always a plan to release this around Halloween? Yeah, we were, mm-hmm. well, I guess originally, like back when we were thinking we were going to release Astonishing Adventures twice a month, the original plan was it'll get released like early-ish in the year, like April. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. But once things got rescheduled, then we were like, oh, we'll definitely make this the Halloween, Halloween adventure. One right nice i love it and then um let's talk about sort of the expanded monster sort of situation as it relates to mutants and masterminds sort of in our last uh, few minutes here your favorite monsters that we have in our sort of uh, uh universe of monsters uh i'm prone to ghosts you know uh, because they're they're creepy and they're also like um you know because they're incorporeal and often immune to a lot of the you know just like blasting and punching things um you know they they make interesting opponents because it's usually a more involved story in terms of finding a way to defeat them Uh, i like it how about you crystal i mean I'm kind of a sucker for werewolves, but when Mm -hmm. push comes to shove, werewolves are just, you know, something that bites and claws and can be punched. Yeah. But they usually come with like the threat of, of a plague-like spread, which right now, not the time, I guess. Yeah, a little (laughs) awkward, I suppose, but. There was, there was one of my favorite episodes of the real Ghostbusters, where they went to an upstate New York town that was being menaced by vampires. Mm-hmm. And then when they went to deal with the vampires, they found out that the village itself was full of werewolves. <laughs> oh, 
oh, it's the classic vampire werewolf rivalry. Right, but then when there's the big gang war at the end between the vampires and the werewolves, well, what happens when a vampire bites somebody? Mm -hmm. They turn into a vampire. What happens when a werewolf bites somebody? So, like, the fight is, like, constantly shifting sides because <laughs> every werewolf that gets injured turns into a vampire. Into a vampire. Every vampire that gets injured turns into a werewolf. I love it. And they started biting each other. <laughs> it starts to get very awkward. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that's a, that is a fan favorite. Um, uh, Nate Robbins says spiders. Mm, spiders are good. Big, big spiders. That's kind of Ooh, creepy. Spiders are our little eight legged friends. <laughs> I know, I'm not really super scared of spiders. I'm trying to think. I mean, honestly, I'm scared of, you know, humans. They're, they're the ones that freak me out the most. That's fair. Yeah. Absolutely. And I would have gotten away with it too. Um, let's see here. Oh, what about creepy dolls? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Definitely creepy dolls. Yes. And Absolutely. all of their relations, you know, like animated <laughs> creepy mannequins and, you know, all of that yes. sort of stuff. Yeah, I had a, oh yeah, mannequins are kind of creepy. An old low power uh, hero. Well, hero is a rough term for what we mm -hmm. played in that game, but like a low powered supernatural investigator who was an animated immortal creepy doll. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, nice. that's creepy. I do remember. So my, I have family members that like to collect um, little dolls, little creepy, mm -hmm. cute little, really kind of. Well, um, a friend of mine uh, was staying with us for uh, kind of a summer bar family barbecue thing. Mm -hmm. And I took one of my mother's dolls and I put it in the spare bedroom where the guest bedroom where uh, she was staying. And the doll was sitting kind of over the bed on a desk with a uh, giant butcher knife. <laughs> <laughs> and sort of, Boy. Out. oh god, it was. I honestly have, I don't think I've ever heard anyone scream as loudly, and I did it so effortlessly. Just kind of, I ran out the front door, ran around the back with the doll and a knife like that was probably a, a treat for the neighbors, but then set it up. It was a delight, uh, I, you know. So, that's a good, I'm thinking about some, you know, as we sort of uh, wrap here on uh, on our delightful technological adventure that we've been on today. Uh, what have you ever thought of like, or have ever done like the best sort of scare prank? I mean, is there anything like when you think back on your history, like what are some things like anything like that uh, in your, in your past? No, I don't generally like to scare people. Yeah. I unfortunately have like too much of a, uh, uh, sympathy reaction to, right. to do that sort of thing. I do have a friend of mine who I game with who, who is like, who likes scaring himself with horror movies oh. and things like that. And so I do become acquainted with the things that, that he finds horrifying because he actually enjoys those when they're introduced in game context. No, is it, uh, it was, I, I loathe jump scares. I think that it's just jump scares kind of cheap, unfortunately. Yeah, for the most part. super cheap. Yeah, but I do love a good psychological scare or a good sort of like tension moment mm -hmm. of you know trying to escape or doing the thing. Um, what flavor of scares are your favorite? Well, I think if I'm doing like a horror story, like adventure kind of a thing, uh, for me, it's it's tension stuff. Um, it's it's the unknown or the, you know, the what's gonna happen next kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, Jay Gray agrees. Well, there's some really great suggestions in here. How about you, Crystal? Do you have like a, a flavor of sort of uh, Halloween scare sort of spookiness that, uh, that you enjoy the most? I, I mean, not really. I mean, if I'm gonna do horror, tension is generally the way to go, but mm -hmm. I mean, I've got anxiety. Most of my oh, life yes. is kind of a horror movie, so. <laughs> right, yeah. You know what, and I, I agree. <laughs> I agree with that. I don't, you know, another thing, I don't really sit down and go, it's horror movie time. It's always something that I'm, you know, watching over at a friend's house or something, but um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. a reason I do superheroes. You know, I'm not yeah. super into horror. <laughs> right, right. Well, I think that that is very telling. Um, I want to say thank you both for for sticking with this today. Always. I know that it was a challenge, but we will continue to move forward. We will figure out what's going on with my PC and we will stream um, uh, mm -hmm. next week without this 
whatever this trauma is to my machine and um you know we'll have pick your, it up again have you, you technically pass the skilled? hat around and get you a new processor right yes yeah if we can do that folks if you can pass your hat around and then put, mm -hmm. fill it with other hats because um what i do is i use those hats and then i perform collecting money on the mm -hmm. corner as a busker have your technically skilled eight to ten year olds you know email let's <laughs> yes, play at greenrunning.com with advice for troy Exactly. I should talk to some neighbor kids. I'm sure that they can come over and just <laughs> fix whatever the hell is going on with my machine. Um, again, thank you everybody who was watching. Um, it has been a little bit of a wild ride, but um, you know, I think we you managed to sort of uh, um, you know semi kind of pull it together. Um, yeah, we'll we'll figure out. We're we'll, uh, definitely getting lots of advice. Um, yes, I should start up a Patreon. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah, I just, I don't have time for Patreon when I've got, you know, my OnlyFans mm. that um, is me just mm. reading from a book while eating saltine crackers. Dry. The hot. It right. yeah, has very hot, very close to the microphone. Um, friends, <laughs> uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Have a safe and fun Halloween. We will see you. If we don't see you before, we'll see you next Monday. Keep your mm -hmm. eye on our... Um, Facebook page for Thursday with Owen. That's yes. going to happen. That's going to be fun. We're going to do that. Um, and uh, oh, thank you, Jay Gray. Wow, Crystal's Patreon's there. He of course couldn't find Ooh. my OnlyFans, but you thank know, you. I have a different name. Um, Apparently, he didn't find my OnlyFans either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that is it. Thank you again, Stephen Crystal, folks. We will see you again soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. -bye. Bye.